Yo, ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, Cypher Sounds, one half of Juan Epp. It's Juan Epp is life on YouTube. Oh, my God. Please subscribe, follow, put on notifications, bell, all that good shit. Listen, we dug deep into the vault and we found a crazy interview. I forgot about this interview. We had Eric Sermon on Juan Epp, and we used to do it back in the days at Hot 97, and he's talking about... Um, how he almost fell off and, and Redman had to get him back in, in, in the right zone, um, how much he was making for money in his heyday, I mean, how much money he was making in his heyday, plus how he didn't put Biggie on his album. What the f... Ladies and gentlemen, one up his life. This is the Eric Sermon uncovered in the vault interview that we found just for you. You're welcome. What's the uh, biggest... Outside thing you did outside, not not EPMD, not Eric Sermon. What was the? Do you get any random, really big checks? Maybe it wasn't even a hit, but when you were popping, Reservoir Dog, they wrote dog. you that a big a big ass check to do something. Oh. It may have not even been a, a smash, but they said we need you to come produce. I tell this. you what, Dr. Dre couldn't make a session. I got paid eighty grand to do Dollar the People's. Damn. Oh, the the remix? Yes. That re it didn't even come out, did it? It was I did the video for it too with the with the video. Dre couldn't make a session, so and so, and and they had called me up. Mike Lynn, Dre's partner, was like, "Listen, yo, Eric, Dre can't make it, and you do this new group." I made the beat in the studio. It took me fifteen minutes. The platform remix, that what it was? 80, 80 grand. It didn't come out. I have a white label. It's handwritten on it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have not have been the record. I would have guessed. Yeah. I mean, of course, but I'm saying, but I, that was back then. It was a big number. Like we had the forty, the forty thousand for me was normal for me, but compared to Timberland with a hundred and for right. to make it two hundred, I was like, when I heard. Okay, it, well, what like, would you get? Whoa. Well, in that era, what would you have gotten for something like buy you some? Or was that just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but that was the 30, 30, 30, 40. That was normal. Labels had money. But did you guys do a switch <laughs> off because of Keith Murray and? Um, no, that was just something that was just done from just being in the studio. There was no switches. By the way, no disrespect. One of my favorite lines in that song is, is when he goes, "It's like Father Dom. It's like Keith Murray. <laughs> Father Dom isn't anything like Keith yeah, Murray." Yeah, it's not, uh, <laughs> yeah, but Keith Murray thing too. The fact that the impact of people know the story though too. Keith Murray was in jail for three years. Mm -hmm. Def Jam gave him two point seven million dollars. Yeah, I remember that. I was around that. that everybody days. knows the story. That's, people don't even talk <clears throat> about that. That was unheard of. Wait, and he never even did anything. Did he ever come out and do they it? It came yeah. out, but, but again, since, I mean, you know, with oh, the label, yeah, that's right. the whole number still, 2.7 million Leo and, and Kevin gave Keith Murray. Because yeah, it looked that. like he's about to go. Because yeah. Puppy called him for, fa I mean, the, the fat Mary? girl, the special delivery, yeah. the Mary J. Like, oh, no, he's about to, and then I was, boom. To but again, that's the type of stuff that was given because they knew what I was coming through. Clive Davis gave me $4 million. I, if, if anybody would pull my J Records contract, they would see that Eric Sermon and Clive Davis was half and half. It was unheard of, the deal Clive gave me. When he made money, I made money. That's how big Marvin Gaye was. He's like, yo, well, we don't, don't care. Let, let Eric get what he want to get, whatever. That's how my life was been with labels. Give him money. Give it to him. You had some random remixes during that time, too, when you were with Clive. Didn't you do some random shit on Jay, like Angie Stone? Angie or, Stone. Yeah. yeah some, that, that, um, think, think. My, my Sunshine Has Come, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever record. But again, but, but I was doing a lot of, that's when remixes, again, was something that you did, though. But again, at that particular time, it was a fun thing, and it was a simple thing to do. All right, I'm gonna name, I want to name a couple things, and I want you to throw out roughly what you could have gotten paid for them. Well, this is for this is special for one I've seen. So if you like Mostly this, Epstein. Sh Shades of Lingo, Mad oh Flavors. My God. How much that check? <laughs> Anything that was on when I when I went to Atlanta, Dallas let me. Well, Dallas let me do all the rap music that he had. Those were mostly all his groups. It wasn't something that I would have picked. So it's a favor. Yeah, illegal. it was still good. Oh, what do you call um illegal? Illegal, illegal was the yeah. What well, label? Was oh. one of the good ones. Rowdy. Rowdy. Yeah. I did all the rap on that legal album. The legal album's crazy. Illegal, the chronic, the chronic, which Lil Zane was on. That was a little group called the Chronic. You probably heard. Oh, no, of no, no, Lil Blunt and Chronic. Yes, uh, yes. Oh, I it remember. Was just lingo, but those are was those still were small. Checks. Oh, they were on the label with Alfonso Hunter, right? No, different label. That was all rowdy. Hold on, so rowdy was different. So hold on, so Shades of Lingo, because you were doing that for Dallas, it wasn't necessarily a, a great check. It was just something you were doing to look out. Right. Although you did drop that verse. You paid me $10,000, $10, I think it was something 
Something small. You may remember his. You may, may remember Eric's classic line. It's the E with the shades. L I N G O. L I N G O. B I N G O. Yo, 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 at that time, I was so relaxed because people had told me, though, too, like, yo, yo, I was slipping. Reggie said, yo, E, you slipping. Because I didn't have hitting switches before Puppy calling, called and came and got me because I was really comfortable and I started doing shit like that. <laughs> so Reggie came down and said, yo, man, you got to change up a little bit. And I, you know, because you're losing what you supposed to be. So that's, that, Reggie um, told you that. Yeah. And then Puppy had called for Who's the Man soundtrack. Hitting switches was crazy. Oh, hitting hit switches, switches. Fuck. Had Ooh. came. And again, that video was crazy because. Wait, what? whoa. Like that was a small, solo? Biggie it was Who's the Man was, soundtrack solo. That was my first solo. solo. song. Yep. Yeah. And Biggie oh was on the God, set. The that was the whole shit. time. Biggie was on the set of the video? The whole time. Because Hype Williams and Puffy shot the video. And Biggie stayed the whole time. And just hung out? Yeah, because he wanted he, he wanted to be on the record. He was like, um, he had told Tracy Waples. He said, listen, I need to get on the Eric Sermon album, you know, make that happen. You know, and I didn't know him, and I already had friends. Did know? it never happen? Or did you, you guys never worked together? I had him. I had him. Wait, it's a long story. Uh, I had hey, him. We, heard, we heard so many stories about Big. He was I a hip-hop him. head. Like I had him, man. Of course he would have loved that. Yeah, yo, the n- in the last episode of Rap Pages, they said, yo, Biggie, when you get on, I want to, who would you want to, who do you like that you want to, that you would want to, um, come up like he said, Eric Sermon. He said, I, I, I like how he move. Mm. But again, I really can't. You know, when you talk to people and be like, you know, nothing, I can tell y'all could be friends, but I don't say nothing that's false. These rappers, Wu Tang Clan, I had them. I had the game. I had Ludacris. I had 112, Jagged Edge, whatever that was in that rim shop in Atlanta, Outcast. What do you mean you had them? They what was do you mean? all. They was all. Trying to get on. Oh, it was all trying to get on. I, I was too young to be like, you know, hey. Oh, you could have had them. Right. This is what happened to the rim shop. That was this, after the Freak Nick. Oh, the rim shit. Oh, the rim shop. What do you mean? What happened after Freak Nick? The, the city changed. Oh, after Atlanta changed. Yeah. Gotcha. Changed, yeah. Forgot about that rim shop. Me that too. Was famous. Yeah. You did all the rims at my old station down there in Atlanta, right? Hot 97? Uh, 97.5. All of it. 97.5. Chris Level Lover, Luda, everything. The whole truck, the vans, all of them was done. They was all done by me. All that, the the the, the Braves, the Hawks, the, the 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 Falcons. Dave Justice was one of my homies. You know, Yo, whatever. He, he was on Atlanta early, you know, too. Yeah. No, I'm Were you the, the first I'm, cat? I, I opened up. Wait, the, wait. Was nobody in Atlanta. You I before just, Fife? Yeah. I was, Who was there first? You were Fife. Fife was very early too in the Atlanta game. I was game. early, but I made the. He tell you, I was on the front page of the Constitution. It's the, it's the, the New York newspaper. Paper AJC, AJC. Eric Sermon moves to Atlanta, Georgia. That means the, 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 the mayor asked him. The mayor was Bill. He gave me the key. I ain't take it. I, I was. I, I was. Um. Um, Hosea Williams was the person who did the homeless. I gave him money to feed the homeless that um, in Georgia. There was nothing moving. Um, the Platinum Club with um, um, you talk about the club there too. Whatever that was, Georgia was me. I brought them cameras down there. I shot Stay Real there. I brought Jalen Rose. I brought Shaquille O'Neal. I brought everything to the Georgia, but it was nothing happening but me in Georgia. I was Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quote, yo. Uh, <laughs> too short came after me. Tor- said, yo, Eric, I see you in the Source magazine. What are you doing in Georgia? I'm like, come down. You'll like it. Then he called Scarface. And then Pac used to come down all the time. You fucked with Pac, too? He, he was at my rim shop in the front selling rims. What do you mean selling rims? You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But like at the front, like. Was it the hologram Tupac or was it the real Tupac? real Pop? Nah, nah, nah. You had hologram working in there? Wow. Damn. Redman, like, how did you discover Redman? Because he was a DJ, right? Reggie DJ for Do It All. For, um. Lords Underground. Lords Underground. Did he DJ for I, I, saw, I, I saw him. I saw him at um, Club Sensations in New, New Jersey. And Do It All was rapping. And he said, yo, my man rapped too. And Redman said this one quote, I float like the butterfly, sting like the rock group. That's all I heard. And I put him on stage that night. Because <laughs> the metaphor was... <laughs> and was doing all thinking, hey, wait a minute, yeah, I want to be on but, stage. But, but, but yeah, for some reason, he wasn't angry. 
again, he ended up being low as and that probably gave him the motivation, but if he wasn't angry. I just I just heard that one metaphor. I float like the butterfly, sting like the rock so, That was it. Done. That was all it took for you to one line. He you, you put him on stage that night. That night in Jersey. He was like, yo, what are you doing up there? You know, Bismarck was DJing and whatever. Yeah. People were shocked to see him up there. Like, what are you doing up there with EPMD? But I kinda knew. Like you kinda knew when I Keith Murray, um, K Solo brought Keith Murray to the crib and Murray was like, yo, let's squash the beef, cook it, and we all can get fat. I'm like, hold up, you know, why didn't you we won that back. Wait, I never, wait, wait, who brought who K Solo brought Keith Murray? Yeah. Well Murray first like kinda like did this to Solo to bring him to the crib. Because <laughs> Solo was t- because Murray was telling Solo to bring him to the crib and Solo wouldn't do it. So after a while, Murray was like, Listen, man, we're going to Eric's house. <laughs> That's going to happen. It's happening now. 18 years old, Murray. Was Murray all- what did he say? What was his line? Something, something is like that. Let's squash the beef, cook it, and we all can get fat. And then you just know from that? Yeah. I just need, because it, it was, it was abnormal, the metaphor, and uh, how the metaphor, like I didn't hear it that way. Right. You heard punchlines, but not the slickness. See, of and I like how you used to make beats, like, when you made beats for Redman, they I were Redman beats. Yes. Yo, Keith Murray. Though? Then, then, cause like some producers, like you know their beats, like mm-hmm. that's just the style of beats they make. Yeah. You have to adjust your style mm-hmm. to their beat. You made specific beats for those people. Now I used to intern in a in a what was the what was the studio in Long Island? Oh, Music Palace. Music West Hempstead. Yes. Yes. Mike. I interned there. After I got out of college for my studio program, Whoa, and this and small. how you end up there? Cause it was like right near. I went to no. National Community College, and they had like a studio program. Yeah. So I went to Music Palace. I used to drive out there. Not and before that. Also, I used to intern in where PE started with um. I've never been there. In 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 in, not Freeport. Roosevelt, yeah. Was it no? I wasn't in Roosevelt though. It was in Uniondale. Uniondale. Um, what's it? Not the Bomb Squad dudes. The other one, he was like the third member that was kind of quiet. What, Eric Sadler? Paul something. Oh. Of the Bomb Squad? Paul. He was down Paul with C? them. No. Not Paul C. Not Paul C. Paul something. Down with the Bomb it was Squad? The same. Yeah, it was the same. he was down with them. It was he the same. Been he couldn't have been because only Hank, Keith, and, and and Eric Sadler. But there's another guy that was down. He might have been the, like, okay. the little, little right. dude that they had. Right. It was the same studio where like Leaders was formed and okay. Young Black Teenagers was right. formed. okay. Um, so anyway, Music Palace and Keith Murray you used to record there, yeah, that's, and that's, I used to like there. I was like cleaning up the studio, and I would put up the reels of Stop Keith lying. Murray. I would put up the reels because I had to learn how to align tapes, right. and then I would look at all the reels and be like Keith Murray, and I would listen to the tracks individually, and I would be like, yo, he had like bowling pins yep. in the background yeah, or yep, some shit, and yep. I'm like, what? I the- did. I did. Why does he have this? What, why, why, why is this? Why, why is this in here? Wow, like Reggie, I, I so before we go, Pharrell used to be like, "Yo, Eric, where's them W30 beats you had? Them, the, the, the W30, because I used to just put whatever that was around inside the the record. We used to just put stuff on top of things. You know, three drum loops on top of each other with 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 um you no know, basses and stuff didn't have a key. But I used to match my key up with them for some reason. But you know what? We'll match the key up with the samples for you know before time stretching. I used to match them up somehow. I used to do the live, live um, throw-ins. Like the stuff used to be live in the choruses. Like the what you're saying, da, da, da. it was, yeah. you know, we speed up. I would slow it down with the hand and push it. You know, whatever. <laughs> we didn't have no sync. Yeah, and the computers and all. Have that. You know what this cipher? All right, Juan Epstein. Yo, Eric Sermon. Listen, um, the mixtape. Oh, Breath, yeah, of, yeah. Breath of Fresh Air, 100,000 downloads, no politic and Eric Sermon on that piff, 50,000 downloads on, on uh, mixtape.com. Who the hell is doing that as a veteran? Holla at me.